Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. So we're doing 69.2.4 test today. So I just got this update. I know we're getting 69.3 soon, which is a major release. I'm very excited for that. It should be coming within the next few days, hopefully tomorrow. But let's go ahead and do a test for this one since we've got the FSD software today. And I'm excited to see if there's any improvements. So as you can see right now, we have a lot of snow. The conditions should be a little bit better. First waypoint over here. Set it up. Gonna engage FSD. As you can see, a lot of people are out there shoveling snow. Very nice right turn over there. No issues at all. Driving very confident, no issues at all. This is all FSD beta. So we're giving a right indicator over here. There's a car behind me, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Very nicely human-like behavior no issues at all it tends to get a little bit closer to the there we go to the sidewalk over there or the pavement on the left hand side and i've noticed that from my very early morning test today so i disengaged for that i'm engaging again we're back with fsd it's going to attempt to take this left turn over here should be slowing down a little bit more yeah, um, I pressed the brake for that. I'm not too confident about that turn. It's approaching it with a lot of acceleration, so I'm not really that happy with that. But let's see how it does right now with this left turn coming up. It goes down to a complete stop. There is a truck approaching us from the left-hand side. So far, I feel like with this dot four release, it's kind of... It's more smooth, I feel like. Especially because I did go out with worse conditions today in the morning. So, and if you haven't seen that video, I can point it up in this video over here. There's a nice stop over there. And we've approached our first waypoint. All right, engaging back FSD. So it does the, do a small pause over here, which is not really required. Drives over those snow banks very aggressively over there. Whoa, it's a little bit too fast for my liking, so I kind of stopped it over there. I'm gonna report that one. It does that turn always very aggressively. I don't understand why. So I disengaged again over there just because I'm not too confident about the turn. It's getting a little bit too close for my liking to that car. Again, these disengagements are a little bit subjective. So over time, I think I will regain my confidence with FSD beta driving in snow and I'll probably start allowing it to do a little bit more courageous movements like those. Nicely done. And we have very slushy conditions over here, but FSD beta seems to be taken, seems to be doing okay. It's getting a little bit too close to my liking on the left-hand side over there, so I'm gonna disengage just to correct it. I'm gonna report that one. Should be turning left over here. Actually, we should be going straight, that's correct. So FSD beta corrected itself. And as you can see over here, like we can't even see the proper lanes over here. So I'm I'm really I'm really impressed with how FSD beta is doing right now. I mean you can see a lot of snow banks, slush, um, it's still snowing. So all these factors, if you think about it, FSD is able to 
navigate through all these environmental effects it's really really good I'm very very impressed it's getting a little bit too close to the bank over there so I'm gonna correct it again I'm gonna correct it again. It, it tends to get very close to that left-hand side. I don't really understand why. This drive is really nice. I'm really enjoying this. I never tried FSD with such conditions, so I am so excited and I'm so happy that it's doing well. Not really too sure why it's taking a, a right, switching lane to the right. It's correcting itself and switching to the left hand side now. I'm just letting it do what it wants to do. Should be able to turn over here on the left. It gives a signal as well. And I'm gonna take over over here just cause. Should stop. All right, it's braking, nice. So yeah, sometimes it does tend to cut across to a snowbank on top of a pavement so it doesn't really understand the concept of uh, there's something under that snow basically so it tends to think that it can drive over it so we've got the green light FSD beta should go I'm just gonna give it a push yeah that's a little bit too fast so I disengaged over there and I'm gonna report that one because that was unsafe Got an FSD beta engaged again. I'm gonna drop down the speed and it's not it's not doing that well. So I am going to actually I might come out of here. I don't really need to get in here. So that must have been might have been my fault because I thought we we're supposed to be going to the right hand side. Let's see if it does this right turn over here. Very nicely done. Excellent. Yeah. So I kind of took over over there just because I wasn't that confident, but it was starting to break, so I won't really count that as a disengagement. Approaching a stop sign. There's one car coming across. Stops. It's creeping forward. Should be clear. Both sides are clear. Should be able to go. Nice acceleration, very smooth, not too aggressive. Should be turning right over here. Also slows down very nicely for the turn. We have a left turn coming up. Slows down, takes the left turn, sees a car coming across, widens up a little bit. Excellent. This is amazing. This is exactly how I would drive. Very, very nicely done. Let's see if it can do a U-turn. It doesn't seem like it. I'll give it a little bit of a push. All right. Let's put in our last waypoint. I will engage it, engage FSD back again. Slows down nicely for the intersection. There's a car approaching from the right hand side. It's clear on the left hand side, so it should be able to do this maneuver. Excellent. Slows down, it does the maneuver very nicely. I really, really like this drive. Goes over a hump. I feel like it did slow down a little bit for it. Getting a little bit too close to the curb over there. Sees the stop sign, stops for the stop sign or the intersection. And now it should start creeping forward. There's a car ahead of us that's turning right or left right now. And there's a car approaching from the right hand side. It 
gets into the median and stops. We're clear for traffic. I'm just gonna oh, engage it a little bit over there. Disengage, I mean. I took over a little bit because the turns are getting a little bit too aggressive for my liking. I think it's going to lose control or slip. But of, of course, this is just a hut, hunch. I got takeover going on over here. Doesn't seem happy to drive in these conditions. I'm gonna bump down the speed because whenever it detects a slippage, I feel like it gives me that takeover uh, alert. Let's see if it does this. Yeah, it's a little bit too fast for my liking, and especially on these turns. And this is very slushy conditions. Like when when I'm driving myself, I have to really pump the acceleration pedal to get it to move. So engaging FSD again. So the speed limit is 60, but we are driving at 45. I feel like that's an appropriate speed limit for these conditions. It's definitely not swerving left and right like today in the morning. We have a right turn coming up over here. Should be able to go. It does cut across to the next lane, so I'm gonna report that. So I guess we'll wrap up over here. Uh, we've got two more turns coming up, but um, Given the conditions that we're driving with today, um, given it's a new version, I feel like I can understand or feel the difference because I drove today in early morning with worse conditions. So I do feel the progress a little bit. Um, obviously there's a major version coming out soon, so that's gonna really blow everything out of, uh, out of place again. And we'll start testing again all over slowing down very nicely for the stop sign comes to a complete stop it's waiting for our turn starts moving ahead gonna give it a little bit of push just cuz and gonna give it a little bit of more acceleration just cuz it seems like it's getting stuck with the resistance of the snow so yeah that's another thing so resistance of the snow the snow banks collecting at the paved areas and uh, and the sidewalk areas and the curbs uh, which Tesla Vision doesn't really see whenever it's covered with snow it just thinks it's snow basically that can we can drive over which is um, you know which is unsafe so I've reported a few of these incidents and yeah I feel like there's maybe a couple of more disengagements than um, the normal tests that I ran through with uh, good conditions, so yeah, not too bad. So anyways, thank you everyone for watching and please stay tuned for the next FSD beta video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Please hit the notification button so that, and the bell button so that you can get notified whenever one of my videos drop. And I'm taking over over here. It was gonna overtake that car, which was gonna get messy because there's another car coming in. Let's engage again and see how it does. It's creeping forward. I'm gonna give it a little bit of push just because there's a car behind me. 
it does the turn very nicely, but with an intervention. Okay, so thanks everyone for watching. Have a nice day.